Once you're in Photoshop, to make this image larger, all you have to do is go to Image right at the top, click in here, and you'll see the image size. If you wanted to, you can use the shortcut, which is Alt, Control, and I. And once you click in here, it'll bring you to this window right here. Once this window pops up, you'll have all the options for the dimensions, width, height, resolution, and so many more options. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to set the mode to pixels. Now you will have things like percent, inches, centimeters. Personally, I would recommend pixels. It's just a lot easier to learn and understand. So once you've set it to pixels, you want to leave the fit to original size. And we're going to move on to the most important thing, which is the width and the height. When it comes to these two, you can either key chain them together. So you can click on the chain and this will make it so that it locks in the aspect ratio. So what this basically means is if you're going to increase the width to something like three, six, four, eight, you can see it now becomes very wide and it loses the aspect ratio. So we'll want to make sure that we take the chain first and then we type in three, six, four, eight. And that is basically close to 4K. And you can zoom out if you wanted to just by clicking here. And as you can see, this image has now become much larger than before. You can change the resolution if you wanted to, but personally, I would recommend somewhere between 72 to 75. You don't really need anything much higher. And once again, you want to make sure that it's set to pixels slash inch. Underneath the resolution, we have the resample. And the resample is pretty much like the mode of how exactly you're going to upscale or downscale your image. And if you click in here, you will see automatic and so many more options. If you've never seen these options before, it's pretty simple. You have automatic, which it will automatically choose the best option available for whatever you're trying to do. You can also use some of the important ones or the main ones like the preserve details, enlargement, this is the early version of Adobe Sensei, which uses AI to upscale or downscale an image. And you've got yourself the latest version, which is the 2.0. And this is the more recent version. You also have things like bicubic smoother enlargement. You also have the sharper reduction and some of the other options which are for other things. For example, the nearest neighbor, this one would be for things like pixel art and anything that has pixels which need to stay hard on the edges. So the best option for this one and enlargement is definitely the preserve details 2.0 because it will use AI to preserve the details and make it as sharp as possible without affecting the quality as much. And then finally, we have reduce noise. Now this is if you've got yourself a little bit of grain or noise in the background or anywhere in the image, you can simply increase the slider and this will make it so it reduces that noise in the image. Once you're happy with your results and you've had a look at your image, you've zoomed in and you've zoomed out and everything looks great, you can then go ahead and click on OK. And as you can see, this has now made it a lot larger. We can press Control or Command and zero, and this will fit it to the screen so we can see the whole image on view. And there you go, there you have it. If we zoom in, you can see it may look a little bit weird because we've upscaled a small image to something much larger. So you will have some areas where it may look a little bit blurry or unfocused, but it's not exactly going to be perfect. And that is pretty much it. That's how you upscale or downscale an image in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.